I'm representing the District 6380 Peace Committee and one of our first projects, promoting the proliferation of peace polls. Our friends in District 6400's Peace Connection served as an inspiration for the forming of our group in the fall of 2021. Our mission is to engage Rotarians and clubs in implementing Rotary's Pillar of Peace and to serve as a resource and support. Of Rotary's seven pillars, peace may be the hardest to, to implement. It's not like volunteering at a school, raising money for polio, or building a clinic in Africa. Tangible results are harder to come by, yet we know that without peace, there cannot be adequate food, water and sanitation, health care, education, infrastructure, or healthy economies. The RAG for Peace tells us that positive peace describes an optimum environment for human potential to flourish. By definition, something tangible is clear enough or definite enough to be easily seen, felt, or noticed. Peace polls are a visible, tangible way to promote peace and to raise awareness of Rotary's involvement with peace building. Ann Arbor North's Club honors PDG Virginia Norby, who inspired the women in Rotary movement. And it lists all the languages of Rotary Centers for Peace studies that she helped establish around the world. A peace poll is a great way to get recognition for Rotary in your community. Each includes a plaque telling who installed it. The message, may peace prevail on earth, is in four or eight languages, depending on which size poll you choose. We can provide all the information you need to order and even how to research the languages most commonly spoken in your community. So I'm just going to show some slides of some of the dedications, Livingston Sunrise. There's our PDG Brenda. Chelsea Rotary uh, was one of the first Peace Bowls I was aware of in our area. Highway M36 dedication last fall. You see people of all ages at Peace Poll Dedications. It's a great way to involve families. And this was at our district conference in Novi last year. One of our members had asked, why Peace Polls? Ruth Dufresne answered, quote, if you look at the state the world is in, it's easy to feel hopeless and alone. But if I walk into a park and I saw a Peace Poll, I would find fellowship there and it would give me hope. There's Fowlerville, my club's dedication a couple summers ago. Anchor Base Peace Poll is at the high school. What a great way to involve youth. Now in our district, or coming soon, here's the list. If I have missed any club, please let me know and send photos. We've also created a map showing locations. We're anxious to complete it with locations of Peace Bowls in District 6400 and in Canada. I want to mention here another project, the Taking Action for Peace Initiative, which is a group of Rotarians from District 6380, 6400, and 6600. It evolved from the Taking Action for Peace conference scheduled last fall, which was indefinitely postponed. Instead, we're organizing bite-sized events. The first of these is a three-quarter day in-person conference on human trafficking. We'll have a panel of survivor leaders and nonprofits that support survivors on September 15th at Henry Ford Community College. I still have some save the date cards if anybody wants one. You're welcome to join us in planning this event and please do attend. In closing, I'd like to share part of the citation that Lakes Area Rotary used at their dedication, and I quote, this peace poll displays four languages representing our past, present, and future. It is our hope that it promotes thoughts and actions of peace for all families, faiths, and cultures. May those who see it as they use this beautiful place for fun and recreation be reminded to seek peace, peaceful resolutions for differences wherever they arise. Lakes Area Rotary, along with Rotary International, promotes global peace and invites you to join them. 
Thank you, Lake Syria, for letting me share that. And thank you to all of you.